Hey guys, I'm Nitya and I live in the Czech Republic. Today is Monday morning and I have a lot of other things to do, but I just need to say this. Yesterday I found out about all the George Floyd situation in USA, what's happening and what's going on right there. I watched the video where a little girl cried and talking how she feels treated differently than others. And it made me cry. It didn't make me cry because of what she said, but it made me cry because people in the end were clapping and they were clapping and supporting her. And I know that it was a support. I know that it was showing their compassion with her and the understanding and supporting her on her way of saying this and for fighting for the rights. I know that. But that clap made me feel that we are living in the world where the little kid has to speak about this and has to do something with it because adults can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I don't want to live in this world. I don't want to live in the world where I even can't see it without crying. I don't want to live in the world where kids has to speak up for themselves about this because it means that the adults, the generation that is raising them has still this problem that should be gone already and it's not about the color of the, our skin it's not about if we are black or white or yellow or whatever it's about that we still picking up our differences and using them against each other and that's what is wrong because we, all of us, all of us should embrace that we are not perfect. We are not robots. We are all perfect human beings with all our imperfections. And that's right. And it's okay that we are different. We are living in the world of differences. There are so many countries and so many cultures in the world and everyone is different. And it's not about the color of the skin. It's not about the what is natural for this nation it's not about the differences between us of speaking of behaving of culture or other things we can't use our imperfections we can't use our differences against each other because that's exactly what it is with the colors of the skin and i hate it i hate i live in a country where it exists but people think it doesn't because there is not many black people <laughs> I even can't say it we feel we are treating them the same but when we talk to them and when I talked to them they feel that we are treating them differently and we are afraid because they are not from here and they are not the same and that's so wrong oh my gosh we need to embrace our differences. We need to stop using them against each other. And we, to, we need to heal our generation. We need to heal our generation from picking the differences, from feeling he is that way and I'm not that way. And from keeping the score or something between us because we all are imperfect. And we all are perfect human beings. And that's the reason why. Because if our generation, if our generation with the little kids, because yeah, the mean kid said what he heard at home and what he heard from his mom and what he heard from his dad or people around him. And if the kids are treating the other kids different and if they are cruel and mean, it means that our generation, the parents didn't heal at all. And we should work about this. We shouldn't. There is no law for that. There is no law that could say that all the, all the differences are okay. Because we all the time picking something else and using it against each other and that's bad. We need to embrace our own... Our own <laughs> we need to embrace our own imperfections. Yeah. And that's what I want to say. Because if you're listening to this, you're in the generation that can change it. And we all need to start at home. We all need to embrace our own differences, 
our own imperfections, stop using it against ourselves and stop doing that against the others. Because we all are different and we all are special and we all are the same. We all are the human beings, absolutely imperfect, but absolutely perfect. And that's the point I want to say. Because all of what happened is not about the color of the skin. It's about the people feeling different from others. And we need to, we need to heal that. We need to heal that. We need to give them the feeling you are the same because you have your own imperfections. There is no I'm better than you. There is no I'm better than someone else's. I have my imperfections <laughs> and I believe that everyone has because that makes us the perfect human being. So I think that this movement that started in USA and that moved people close to each other, it should be a movement for don't feeling different. Not for colors, not for the same rights. It should be the movement of embracing our imperfections and stop using those imperfections against each other. Thank you for listening to this and if you agree with me please share and send this message to the world because it's not about the color of the skin. Thank you.